Hi there, welcome back to the channel, Homesteading Uncontained. Just me today in the workshop. Julie's doing uh, lots of other chores, uh, emptying out stables, taking all the manure to the compost heap in the field, and also a lot more planting in the polytunnel and the uh, outside beds are winter vegetables. Today's project is something slightly different. Um, it's to total carpentry project. At the moment, I'm spending a lot of time sitting at my desk in front of the computer. A lot of video editing, as you can imagine, but also now the, uh, the drawings and design for our container home. So I'm acting as the architect and the, uh, the engineer on the project. I need to get all my drawings done for the planning, but then all the drawings done for um, all the different services, you know, electrical, plumbing, uh, framing out between the two uh, containers, lots and lots. As you can see, I have got a very old desk. Um, we bought it here 10 years ago, um, sanded it all down, gave it a good oil, but it has great drawers down each side, but it has a drawer in the center as well, and I just can't get my legs under. So it's literally becoming a pain in the neck. I'm getting really, really sore pains down the back of my neck because I'm crouching over towards the keyboard. So uh, I've decided to make myself a new desk and uh, that's the project today. So we went to uh, one of the big box stores looking for um, some wood top or uh, sort of kitchen top and we found some. I didn't want the big thick top, I just wanted about 25 millimeter, about an inch thick. And uh, we found some and it was an off cut already uh, and then I had to have it cut again to the 1.3 meters width that I'm going to have the desk. We had that cut so we could get it back into the car and drive home. We ordered some legs off uh, Amazon, they arrived and uh, I'm also going to put one drawer just underneath. I, try I tried to make it a hidden drawer underneath. So um, I've got some off cuts of my uh, uh, plywood that I bought at uh, one of the DIY stores, one of those um, buy this trolley full of offcuts for 20 euros and there must have been 200 euros worth of wood there so uh, I'm going to use some of that up, see how it goes. All right then. So a quick uh, design, <laughs> it is basically going to be a 300 wide, 300 millimeter wide draw with um, and 350 millimeter depth. On the front, the same wood as the surface, I'm gonna have a 400 plus the, uh, the hinges, and the hinges, it says here, are 12.7. That'll be the, uh, the front of the drawer, and the rest is gonna be made out of 10 millimeter plywood. So I'll get on with making that draw now. Um, hopefully the, uh, the sliders will come this afternoon. They're due from Amazon um, in the next post. Just square those off and I'll cut those together on my mitre saw. So all the pieces are now cut, including the base. I'm just gonna put it all together with uh, glue and pin nails.
As you can see, another reason this was an offcut in the shop was it's, uh, it's all a bit black here. So we've got a little bit of discount for that, but I'll just sand that off. Just sanded the bottom of the, uh, the desktop uh, just to get those greasy marks off and the black marks. Um, I'm just going to give the drawer itself a little sand round and then I'm going to make the front and sides of the actual cabinet of the drawer that will sit underneath the desktop. Just going to measure off the front of the drawer uh, just to get the uh, the measurements correct um, it's a 300 wide drawer each of the sides of the uh, the drawer cabinet where the, the sliders are going to be attached to they are 25 millimeters and then i have the uh, the slider width which is going to be i'm going to use 13 millimeters each side of that so that is in total 300 plus 2 times 25 plus 2 times 26 is 376. So I'm just going to mark that up now. So I'm still waiting for my sliders to arrive, they are supposed to be here this afternoon. The next stage I'm going to do before they arrive, because I'm not going to put these on until they, they do arrive so I can make sure it all fits, I'm going to put the, uh, the legs on now because they will dictate where this drawer goes. Right, I've got to pop out just to get some short screws, 25 millimeter or less, 20 mil hopefully, um, by four millimeter. But I've just come out and there, just there, the posty has dropped off the sliders. So at least I'll be able to finish everything off tonight now. So a little bag of screws, I've got um, some five mil and some four mil. I just like it when you can buy it in a little mixed bag, two euro, that'll do. slides 350 millimeters long so I'll get those on so this is sort of where I'm gonna have the draw as far up as possible but probably just a millimeter away to allow that gap so, so I'll get the draw runners on and then I'm gonna pocket hole drill these so they're all nice and uh, sturdy and not protruding through the uh, the face of this uh, desktop. Right, I'm just going to fit the uh, the sliders onto the inner drawer. So I'm going to mark it up first. This is 105 millimeters. This, well, it's about 104 millimeters. This is 44. So what I'm doing is um, 30 millimeters from the bottom, which is about central. So I've positioned the central part, the central slider. I'm now just going to mark off three screw holes 
and these little screws there are about two millimeters too long to go through this 10 millimeter uh, plywood so what I'm going to do I'm going to start off screwing in the screw just so it gets started back it off then take it over to my grinding wheel so now that will allow me to screw it in without it protruding through the other side For the next job, the pocket holes, I'm using the Axminster pocket hole jig. Um, I did do a video on this uh, quite, a, quite a while ago now, but I'll put a link down in the description to that. But uh, it is a great jig. I spent uh, quite a bit of money on it, but I think it's, it's worthwhile. So um, I'm just going to set this up. So the first setting I need to do is uh, change the wood um, depth, the thickness. So I need to move it between 18 to 24, which is the next one up. The other setting we have to do is to uh, position the drill to the bottom a few millimeters from the base. first one. I'm going to do three on each. So I'm just going to loosely fit just so the little spike is coming out the bottom. There. Just so I can position it without it sliding everywhere. There. So I've already put this one on here. I used um, a spacer just to give it a little bit of a, well, a couple of mil, it's probably two millimeters between the leg and the side, and that'll allow the front of the drawer. Um, the front of the drawer will fit nicely just here, like that. So I'm now going to position the other side, put that in place, push him down so the spikes, the ends of the screws push in and now I can take this away and the drawer very carefully As you see the pocket hole screws form a good good bond already so I've just positioned the front of the drawer, again remember this is all upside down, um, I've got a 10mm gap at the bottom, the same as the actual drawer, the inside of the drawer, and that's just to, so I don't catch anything or anything like that, it'll just be nice and smooth. I'm going to attach the front panel to the actual drawer so I can oil it at the same time as the, uh, the underside of the desk.
just rounding off the edges. tape on just so I wouldn't have to uh, measure it all up and mark it up with pencil so it's in the exact position now I put it on a little block of wood underneath to force that up so it's all flat as well so I'm just going to peel this back One job I nearly forgot is the, uh, I've got to make a hole here. These are the little uh, feet that came with it. So I'm quite pleased with the uh, the outcome. Just show you all the legs, all nice and tidy compared to uh, my old desk. And then the drawer, a bit messy inside, but uh, that fits nice. The little stand from Ikea that we've got for the monitor that brings it up to a really nice height so uh, I'm not crooking my neck anymore and uh, we put a red stain on or a reddish stain we shouldn't have done we should have just left it but uh, we thought it was protector it was some stuff we found in the garage but uh, it's all right it's quite nice quite pleased and then uh, the chair that I got from Ikea so that's my new setup so thanks for watching, I know it was a bit different this video this time, um, a mini project while the weather is awful outside. Uh, please hit that subscribe, put the thumbs up and uh, click on that little bell for notifications and see you in the next one. Bye.